the center position, filling out the middle. And for the Timberwolves, Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. Rudy Gobert is out there with Nas Reed. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. And a lot on the line here tonight, Grant. Each team looking for bragging rights in the West. And you kind of get this feeling, the way it's all playing out, that they're on a collision course to meet again in the conference finals. And that's what makes this such an intriguing matchup. The winner here gains a slight mental edge for later on down the road. It's McDaniels on the wing, defended by Murray. From nine feet, and it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Clearly the strength of Gobert's game. Tough cover down low. Murray passes to Gordon. Porter against McDaniels. Caldwell Pope nails it from beyond the arc. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Conley. He had 25 points in his last game. And it's McDaniels off the drive. Lets it go from deep. Porter pulls it in. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. It's good on the putback. Double-digit boards, a regular occurrence for Gobert. Makes it easier to get those second-chance hoops, too. Here's Murray. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. And when you watch this Nuggets team, Clark, their chemistry on the court is obvious. Yeah, B.A., the pieces just fit and fit quite nicely. Give a lot of credit to the front office, doing a good job drafting, and then finding the right veterans to complement who they already had. Shot is good by Edwards. Flashing pretty advanced shot creation skills. I see many good defense, better offense moments in the future of Anthony Edwards. Now here's Murray. 15 in his last outing. Porter's shot is off. Edwards with it. Checked by Gordon. Shot is good by Edwards. Well, the defense trying to throw Edwards off with some contact, but he smartly stays focused on his shot. Murray passes. To Jokic. And here is Porter. Back to Jokic. Ooh, the deft touch on the lob. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. And a nice touch on the finish. Conley. Second shot opportunity. No good on the layup. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Here's Murray. And, yep, it's good. Oh, out, Murray's got this second bucket. You know, when Murray finishes like this, guys, it shows you how aggressive his mindset is in attacking the defense. And Minnesota calls time here. Yeah, Coach, no doubt, wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Some changes for Minnesota. Anderson's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Alexander Walker comes in for McDaniels. And it's McLaughlin in for Mike Conley. Another miss by Minnesota. Denver has gone one or two from three-point land so far. You know, the fighting spirit Nas Reed brings to this game is really something, Clark. Yeah, I tell you, he's a guy that is dynamic and electric, plays with great passion, and has a way of getting everybody fired up. He's an injection of energy for his team and the buildings he plays in. Watson, two shots. And he drops the first. <laughs> Hit
Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. And it's Edwards with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Trailing by two. Alexander Walker, the pass to Anderson. Back to Alexander Walker. And it's off from three-point range. The Nuggets have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Uh, the quickness of Reggie Jackson, terrific. Superb at slicing apart the defense with his drives to the rack. Minnesota has gone 0 for 2 from outside. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Alexander Walker. And the three-pointer goes. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The Nuggets have gone 5 of 8. Solid opening quarter for them. Here's Jackson. Here's Brown. Tries a 10-footer. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Pass to Anderson. Stolen by Jackson. Back come the Nuggets on the run. Here's Strother. Off with the layup. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. The three ball. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Nuggets on top. They're up by three. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. St. Patrick's Day, everyone, and welcome back to NBA basketball here on 2K Sports. And from what you've seen from the Nuggets, what's your take so far? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. Denver in the lead. On the court for Denver. On the perimeter, KCP and Porter Jr. Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. And it's Murray in at the point. Inside, Jokic drops it in. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. Here's Alexander Walker. Oh, they get a hand on it. Outside McDaniels. 4-3. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Last time they came together was in Minneapolis, where they fell to the Timberwolves. Last time, free throw shooting was their kryptonite. Just could not keep pace. Yeah, you know, that differential jumps off the page to me. And whether it's more disciplined defense or more aggressive offense, they've got to look to flip that script tonight. Here's Gobert, following the score by Denver. Back to Morris. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got his fourth rebound in this one. You know, we hear the term point forward a lot. Clark, is it fair to call Nikola Jokic a point center? I don't have any issues with the B.A. I mean, he facilitates as a big guy with the ball in his hands like a guard at times. So point center works, but he's more than that. He's your two-time MVP is what he is. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Michael Porter Jr. never lacks for confidence in his jump shot, but he said, offense for me should be an autopilot. I should be focused on the intangibles, the defense, the rebounding, the dirty work. That involves you in the game. Brian, the buy-in and the commitment to the little things has not gone unnoticed. Yeah, I love that. That's a great point. Thanks, Allie. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Nuggets. You know, in the early going, they've been effective scoring in the mid-range, and if it's falling, I say stay with it. And the other thing you notice is how determined they've been to get into the paint and get buckets around the rim. Conley's checked lane. in for the Timberwolves. The One shot. All right, Grant, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now. Tell us what the key is to establishing culture in an NBA organization. Ooh. 
NBA culture, structured accountability. It's about getting the right group of guys, having strong leadership. And of course, it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in. Now here's McDaniels. He's scoreless. And he converts the layup. You're not going to get every shot off clean. McDaniels recognizes that and made the adjustment accordingly. Murray passes to Gordon. Back to Murray. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Murray's got four points now in the quarter. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressive district. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Gobert. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Five on the clock. Outside, Anderson. Hey, puts up a three. The kick out to Conley. Over Murray. And that one's good from Conley. Yeah, this is how Conley plays. Extremely efficient. He just takes what the defense allows. Pass to Murray. From 12 feet. Offensive board. Jokic. Jokic just out muscling the defense. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. And Minnesota calls time here. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. From deep, Conley. Count it. Two for four from the field now. He's finally started to settle down here in the second quarter. Just needed to work up a sweat. Conley against Jackson. There's a minute 26 left to play in the second quarter. Jokic finds Jackson. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Jackson's gotten his second bucket of the game. Down low. Gobert using his size to his advantage. And one of the league's better floor generals. Really over the last decade, Conley plays with an old-school pass-first mindset. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Reggie Jackson. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Outside Conley, pass to Reed. Go bear with it. And it's going to be a three-second call. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Alexander Walker. The Nuggets have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Jackson, the pass to Najee. Here's Strother. Fires in the triple. Strother's got his first three points of the game. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Reed for three. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got a sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Jackson. Lots of room. Second chance shot. Mr. Jokic absorbing the hit. A guy who always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Jokic on top of that. And so that brings the first half to a close. Nuggets ahead. Up by 12. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks very much. I'm here with Mike Malone and Coach. Evaluate this team's execution offensively for me. Well, I think we're at our best when we can get out and run, but also play downhill. It's a simple game for us. When we defend... That gets us out to run. Now we can play downhill, attack, and share the ball. That's when we're at our best. Keep it simple. Thanks, Coach.
All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. A pretty close game from the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. In the second quarter, they crushed it at both ends, bruising out to a 12-point advantage. Shaq, let's get your take on Denver. They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench, providing major contributions, especially at the offensive end. It's taking a lot of pressure off the starters. What a luxury of the second. Kenny, let's get your input on the Timberwolves. They couldn't get anything from beyond him. Obviously, plenty of bad shots. But they couldn't even hit the wide open. They need to regroup, I'm telling you, regroup with some kind of rhythm and get on pace. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. about ready for the second half here a big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive and it probably has to happen quickly one guy who's been getting it done is Jamal Murray through the first two quarters he's been on fire explosive offensive performance and you know what I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank that first half had to take a lot out of and with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. McDaniels out there with Nas Reed. And it's Gobert in at the five. So that's the Timberwolves five. Now here's Edwards. It's McDaniels on the wing. No luck on that one. Good D by Jokic. They put together a solid lead. And it doesn't seem like they're going to back off. Here's Gordon. Nice D from Reed. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. The man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Jaden McDaniels. And he knocks down the first one. Guys like McDaniels who can guard just about any position on the floor extremely valuable these days. And that's good as he hits both shots. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Nuggets. After this one, they're off to Dallas to take on the Mavericks. It'll be the fourth of five games for them on the road. Caldwell Pope against Edwards. Tries the nine-footer, and it's Gobert with a rebound. Starting slow in this half. 0 for 3 so far. Well, Clark, no question which end of the floor Rudy Gobert makes his biggest impact. Yeah, he's a demoralizing defender. I mean, his height and reach give him some significant advantages, but it's more than that. You don't win multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards just because you're tall and long. You gotta have some toughness, you gotta have some anticipation and timing, and the willingness to get down and dirty. And he makes a first. Well, Clark, we know Anthony Edwards is a great hooper, but how would you rate his acting ability? Hey, I thought he was quite good. To be honest with you, B.A., in that Hoops movie, he was playing the bad guy, the villain role. Ant has a huge personality. We saw that on the big screen. Perhaps a second career for him when he's done terrorizing the NBA. And so he makes both from the line. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Pass to Murray. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. 
Over to the wing. Let's it fly. Jokic, no good. Boy, defense non-existent there, but they catch a break as he whiffs it. Here's Conley. The putback. Oh, Gobert! Right there on the putback. No way, says Gobert. Saves the play and ends it on his turn. Murray passes to Gordon. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. And Minnesota has possession. The Timberwolves trail. Outside McDaniels. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Great D that time from Porter. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. After their big trade with Rudy Gobert, it's taken a while for the Wolves to gel. Gobert said, quote, it just comes with the time and trust. Basketball is never perfect, but we can punish all kinds of defenses by making the right play and finding the open man. With that mindset, we are going to keep getting better. I'm confident in our abilities. Brian? Well, that, that's the way you have to look at it, Allie. Thank you. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Anderson's checked in. Pass to Reed. Back to Conley. Six on the shot clock. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Gordon. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Nuggets lead by eight. Yeah, great hustle from Gordon using his patented vertical. The sky up for the board. Conley finds Reed. Back to Conley. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Conley's got seven. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Gordon, left side. And Gordon with the big finish. And that's Gordon's game now. You can't give him room to hit the launch pad because if he does, he's throwing it down every time. And Minnesota calls time here. One guy who's been getting it done is Jamal Murray. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for McDaniels. Morris comes in for Anthony Edwards. And it's McLaughlin in for Mike Conley. Now here's Anderson. Still without a bucket. Reed. Back to Anderson. Got a hand on it. Pass to McLaughlin. Here's Alexander Walker. From outside, off the mark. There's a minute 12 left in the third quarter. Here's Brown. Doesn't go that time. Ooh, good work defensively by Morris. Minnesota has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Now Anderson. Here's Alexander Walker. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. They get it again. No luck on that one. If they play this right, they can go two for one. Yeah, they really have to work the clock right now. And we've got 28 seconds left in the third. Jackson, right side. Pass to Watson. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. And here's Morris. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. Their defense is only allowed six points in the second half. To the middle. Here's Reed. Can't connect. And so it's the Denver Nuggets ending the quarter up 10. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. Back to the game after this break.
And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up a tasty room service nine right there, boy. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. And Denver, looking at who they've got to start the fourth. And the forward spot, Porter Jr. and Gordon. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Jokic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Edwards. Rebound by the Nuggets. Porter's got four rebounds now. Inside, here's Caldwell Pope. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. Porter's got his fourth assist in this one. Minnesota shooting a low 31%. Their offense is lacking. Outside Conley. Chipped. Porter with it. Releases. Alexander Walker grabs the board. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Outside Conley. There's the triple. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. Murray passes to Caldwell Pope. Pass to Jokic. Ooh, great D that time from Gobert. The Timberwolves have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. To the paint. Here's Edwards. Another miss by Minnesota. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Porter gets the bucket. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Timeout call, the Timberwolves. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. All right, let's get a report from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch was going over with his team. He stressed with his guys how important defense is at this point of the game, saying, quote, it's got to come down to stops, fellas. We know how good our offense is. Now I need you to communicate and D up out there. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Now here's Conley. Tries from six feet. Good. Now this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. Conley against Murray. To the inside. Jokic. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Nuggets lead by 14. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. And here's Edwards outside. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Murray. That one rolls around and rims out. The Timberwolves have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Here's Edwards. That shot is off. Good D by Murray. One fifty-two left in the fourth. Gordon outside. Murray up top. He's guarded by Conley. And that one drops. Tell you what, if Murray's on your team, you got to feel comfortable when he's working the pick and roll. His shooting, speed, and passing all make him hard to guard. McDaniels finds Gobert. Back to Daniels. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. Over Murray. The shot by Conley. No good. For Denver, they've gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. And, you know, this will be a big victory for them. They came out and executed their game plan, and what a huge win for the Nuggets. This team did a lot of things well tonight. Number one was passing the ball.
And it was a team that was in rhythm. And they just trusted each other to take the right shots. And tonight, a fantastic effort to deliver their 48th win of the year. We've come to expect big-time games from him. Just another day at the office for Nikola Jokic. He really influenced the game with his rebounding. Just a stellar performance. With all the work he put in, he's going to sleep well tonight. Offensive rebound. Trying so hard to contest that shot. Got a piece of Gobert there. First team foul. First team foul. Well, Grant, some think of Gobert as just a defensive specialist, but he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Rudy uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high-percentage shots that come to him naturally. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. You know, he gets there so often, Gobert would like to make these at a higher clip. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Anderson's checked in for McDaniels. McLaughlin comes in for Anthony Edwards. And it's Morris in for Conley. And the second free throw is good. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Now Murray. Uses the glass on the layup. And the Nuggets lead by 19. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Sinks it from distance. Now here's Murray. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. A shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Nicola, congratulations on the win. What does a win like this say about your team? I mean, we are looking for each other. We are finding it. It's, it's uh, when we start playing like we're supposed to play, we are really good. So hopefully we're going to continue to play like this. Thanks, Nicola. Back to you guys. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. So long, everyone.